KG5 EIU. I'm going to show you how to do the initial configuration with your smart device. I'll be using an iPhone today to set up the WLED program on the DIY uh, custom shack LED controller from the Dallas Amateur Radio Club Lecture and Lab of April 2021. Let's go ahead and get started. I've got my iPhone here and I've already preloaded the WLED program from the App Store and I'll go ahead and launch it and you'll see that there's no LEDs uh, configured at all. The first thing you want to do when you power it up, we've powered up the Quinn LED board after we built it and uh, you should have color on your LEDs like that. You'll need to associate your smart device to the Wi-Fi AP WLED AP here you can see it uh, in my network list. We'll go ahead and associate to that and we connect up to it and we'll get the login screen. The next uh, thing you want to do is we're going to configure um, the WLED program for your home, fi wi home Wi-Fi network. I'm going to set it up here and show you how that's done. Go ahead and tap on Wi-Fi settings. You want to enter the SSID of your network uh, my network here is uh, called um, Area 51. St. Paul. Now it's really important that you get that correctly spelled right and it's whatever SSID you're using for your Wi-Fi at your home network. And then you're going to want to enter your super, super secret top, uh, top secret password. And when you're done with that, <clears throat> they'll be uh, saved and we'll now use the app to go ahead and connect up. So the first thing you want to do is go back to your network and reconnect your home network here. I've already connected up. We'll go back and then we'll launch WLED again. <clears throat> we'll hit the plus button plus sign here to discover it. We'll tap on discover lights and we'll come back here and here I've discovered my LED light strip over here. It's 192.168.1.110. I'll go ahead and tap on that and you can see in the background here I'm already controlling the LED and from here uh, there's all kinds of things you can do. You can go get the info page uh, it's very similar to the web interface. If you were to use a web browser, say Chrome browser on a PC or Mac, same thing. This app makes it kind of handy. It's always with you and you always be able to control your, your shack lighting. So uh, one thing you want to do is go into the config and set your uh, LED preferences. Um, this strip here that I'm using here in the background has 100 pixels to it. And so I would want to set my pixels to 100. The lab uh, that we built, the LED strip you have, is actually 20 pixels long. Um, go ahead and click Save on that. And from there, what you can do is uh, you can go back. And this is where hours and hours of fun are because now you can go in and select all these different fun combos. This one's kind of nice, the uh, Chase Random. And uh, you can kind of see it blinking in the background there. You can control the speed, the time, all kinds of different things. You can divide the strip up into virtual strips and have two different sides of the strip do something else. Um, it's just that easy to get your WLED configured on the initial config with the Dallas Amateur Radio Club. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoy the uh, LED program and have some really cool LED lights in your shack. 7-3 from KG5 EIU.